Lewis Labwa. Welcome back to another painting with Lewis. And we are going to be painting dogs. And we're going to do it as easy and simple as possible. Number one, make sure you have your picture of your dog on your um, phone or if you printed it off or whatever. We are going to be painting off of our references. So here's my dog. I'll be painting this guy here, Tucker, as well as I'm going to paint a second dog. I'm going to paint a beagle. And the reason why I picked a beagle is it's completely different than a, uh, than a West, West Highland Terrier. Okay, so I got my references. I got my paint. I'll just show you real quick here. The paint, once again, my dirty old paint tray. I have uh, red, uh, blue, yellow. I've used purple and white, and I got a little bit of black here. So I'm just going to use that. Uh, that's going to be my palette, just those colors. You can use whatever you want. Um, I find that for these, these dogs, that's all it's going to really need. Okay, so, okay, so let's begin. Let's, the first thing I want to do is talk about the different breeds of dogs because I think this is kind of important. So um, right here, I'm, I don't know, I'm just going to randomly pick. So you got dogs with pointy ears like this. And then they got their little nose that comes out like this. There's his little eye. So it'll be a little bit of a cartoon dog. There's his collar. So you got this dog here. So I don't know. He's kind of like the Doberman Pinscher. The uh, you know German Shepherds are a bit like that dog. Okay, so then you got the other dog with the um, they have kind of the floppy ear like this, like the the Beagle or the bloodhound dog. And he's got like more of a jowl that comes right down like that. And there's his little eye. We'll put a little collar on him. And he's got this nice floppy ear there. So there's a lot of breeds of dogs that are this shape. Then you got the fuzzy haired dogs, like poodles and, and whatnot. So they got like a little tuft of hair. Got their little nose that comes out like that, the little eye. Most of these dogs have floppy ears. We'll put his tongue out. And uh, you can't really see his collar because his floppy ears are kind of blocking it. All right, so there's a lot of dogs with fur like that. And uh, let's see, then the, the last one I'm going to show you is a, um, I guess a pug. So he's got, he's got really no nose. His eyes go like this. He's also got a little bit of jowls. You know, like uh, bulldogs are like this. Let's make his ears kind of standing up because chihuahuas have ears that stand up, but bulldogs have ears that stand up kind of, and then they, they, they flop down a bit. You can put a few freckles on that guy. Okay, so there you have it. A few, a few simple breeds. There are many breeds of dogs, and that's what I love about dogs. Dogs are kind of a testimony to people and dogs because people made the dogs by breeding them into these kind of different breeds. And some of them are pretty spectacular to look at. Some are just cuddly and cute. Some are hunters. Some are used for protecting. Some are used for rounding up sheep. I mean, dogs are like super useful and super lovely to have. Now, if you don't have a dog and you have cats and you're a cat person, go ahead, paint cats. I, I mean, I love cats too, little kitties and cats. But we are going to be using the pronoun dog for the pet. And let's say you want to paint your turtle because you, you're a turtle person and you don't have um, either one, dogs or cats. You're a reptile person. Go ahead, paint that. And if you don't have a dog and you've always wanted one, then look, look one up online and paint that dog. Okay? So, I'm going to begin with my picture of Tucker here. Just give me a second. All right, where's my picture? I lost it, okay. So what's nice about, about phones is you can zoom in and zoom out. So you can get really close and get some details. Okay, so we are gonna paint this dog right here. So first of all, let's create the shape of his head. All right, so this is the shape of his head. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit because he's, 
his ears kind of dominate quite a bit. So his head will start here. Okay, now I'm just I'm just gonna sketch it out with a with a paintbrush. If you want to use a pencil, go ahead. I just like to use a paintbrush because I want to do this quickly. Okay, so this is the shape of his head, and then his little nose, his little snout comes out like this. See, and this will be where his nose is gonna be. It's gonna be right here. His nose will probably go right here. And then he's got his eyes that go right here. So I'm just kind of placing where everything goes. And then he's got the nice pointy ears that kind of just shoot up like this. They're kind of like rabbits when they're babies. Okay, so there he's, his nose is a lot bigger. But what I love about this dog is he tends to be able to grow a really great mustache. So let's create this mustache there. Okay, there we go. And he's got a little mouth that fits right there. No, it's more of a triangle. Okay, so, um, all right, there's still a lot of space down here. So in the picture, you can see him sitting on the edge of the couch. And we'll do that. We'll, we'll put his leg out like this and down. So it goes down, up, and then in, and he's got all his hair that goes here. Okay, so right, he's got his other, other leg that goes here, and then his body cuts across like that. Okay, let's put his nose a little higher, mouth a little higher, his mustache a little higher. See, you can make these adjustments if you don't quite like it. Okay, so there it is. Now I'll make him sitting on some kind of cushion because he is sitting on a cushion in this picture. All right, so there he is. All right, his nose needs to be, I think, a little more centered. There we go. His eyes here and his other eyes there. Okay, now that I feel, feel like I kind of have it, what you could do is use a little mirror to see if you got everything in place. Okay, there's tufts of fur. Okay, so in the photo, if you look here, you can see that he's silhouetted, like the sun's not shining on him. He's kind of silhouetted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the white out. So I'm going to paint it with... Uh, I'm going to mix my purple and my blue together, and just a little dab of what? Yellow? Hopefully it'll be a gray color when it's all said and done. Okay. So, all right, so I'm just going to paint them out. I'm going to use a, a large brush here, and we're going to paint it out. All right, it's a good color. Okay, so. Oh, just a second, I'm gonna reach over, grab a paper towel here. I'm gonna clean my brush. And what I'm gonna do is soak up some of this color off the, off the canvas. Okay. All right. So that detail that I put in earlier, I mean, it didn't really count because I'm going to be... But it kind of told me pro approximately where everything went. Okay, so now I'm going to add my white, pure white, and I'm going to mix it into the paint on the, on the board. Now, I'm not going to paint, like, each hair, but I'm going to suggest hair, like, boom, there's a clump of hair. Boom, there's a clump of hair. So if you got one of those hairy dogs with a lot of little hair, I mean, if, if, you love, if you love sitting there painting every little hair, go ahead. But I suggest just suggest the hair, like boom, boom, boom. Okay, I wanna make sure I get this mustache right. This nose needs to go right there. Okay, now there's these planes on, like, the, like, like if you look at my nose, there's a plane right here on my nose, and then it cuts down, and a shadow right there, a plane, and then it cuts into my, my, my eyes. There's a, there's a shadow there. So you want to create a little bit of that in your dog, especially if he's not in the sunlight. You know, there's, it's like a subtle backlight that you're painting. Okay, so... 
top plane of his nose would be right here. All right, I, I like I like the shape of this so far. I, I, I'm really liking the color, this kind of silvery color. Okay. Now, what's what's nice about a, a a white little dog, you can add a lot of color to it in your background, and so the white. I mean, what's important is is that he looks kind of white. So you're gonna s stay within like certain values, like silvers and you know grays and you know maybe light yellows and different little colors, but you're not going to paint like, like really strong color in it and keep everything kind of like, um, I don't know, like really soft looking. Okay. All right. So there we go. Got his fur, got the feeling, got the feeling of his fur. Okay. Now, I'm going to do two things, then I'm going to jump into my other dog. Okay, so number one, <coughs> I'm going to try to get the placement of his nose right. And then if it doesn't look right later when I look at it, I can move it. And two, I'm going to get his eyes. So he's got one eye, That's this is the dominant eye, it's nice and clear. Get this eye, get bigger. Make the eyes big. He looks like a smaller dog. Out there. Okay. All right. I think that's right. He looks a little, a little stubby, but. Um... Okay. The second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use a larger brush, and I'm going to paint my background color. So I am going for some serious color here. Let's go blue. Let's put some pure red in there a little bit because I'm thinking this cushion he's on is going to be a bright red cushion. And what by doing a dark color is going to make him look more white too. Okay, so let's get this painted in. Just fill in. I'm going to throw some black in there too. With the Now, I don't like to mix my color too much. I like to see it all marbly on there. Kind of like it's a painting. I want this to look like a big, rich painting, gooey with paint. Put some blue to give it some balance right there. Just a little bit of blue like that. You can always paint over it if we don't like it. For now, I'm just, I'm thinking this is what it's gonna look good, is these colors. You know, if I don't like it, I can always change it, right? Want some red. Okay. Now he's sitting on that red cushion. Let's just go for pure red now. Now I didn't really clean my brush because I don't want the red looking like like really red against this white. I want it to go on a little bit dirty so that when I add my highlights to the red, it'll really pop out. If your red's too clean, you can't really, you know, highlight it as good. I'm just, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of purple in there. I want it to feel a little bit more muddier than it is. This part here just feels too, too big. Okay, let's just, I just wanna cut into this a bit. His ears, especially his ear here, he has this, he has this tuft of fur right here and then his ears kind of shaping. I could always paint white on top of the dark colors too. So, there we go. Give him a little bit of shape. He does. He kind of bleeds out. His shape bleeds out a little bit. So there we go. Just give him a little bit of shape. His eye looks a little too, like a little higher right there. A little smaller too. Okay. 
I'm just gonna fix this eye a little bit and then we're gonna move right into our, our next painting right here. I like that. It's like a little cheek. It's smiling now. When wet's when the paint's wet, you can mold it, move it around, form it. It's like clay, clay on a board. That's what it seems like sometimes. Just want this mustache to have a little little shape to it. Okay, we're gonna revisit that. Now, we're gonna move on to the next dog, our beagle. And the reason why I chose this beagle is, um, number one, my, my sister has a beagle and she might like this painting. So this is for you, Marie. Actually, it's not my sister, it's her daughter. This is for you, Julie, yeah, my niece. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch out his shape like I did with this one here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go a little bit of an angle. Like he's kind of like, you know, dogs like tilt their heads a little bit when they're trying to understand what you're saying. So this is the shape of his head. will go right here. And then his nose, because he's looking straight on. It's hard to, um... and then his ear comes down like this and it flops in like that. Now, I, lo I love these ears. These, uh, these ears look like chamois, like leather chamois that you'd use to wash your car with. And he's got more of a, like this kind of a mouth. And his nose kind of goes right here, and then his eyes go right here. And he's got this little tuft of fur, and he's gonna have a collar that goes right here. And then this goes down here. And off the page, boom, 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 like that. And then this part comes down, like that. All right, so start filling in. I'm gonna start with the white. So I'm gonna fill in the white a little bit so it can dry, and then I can actually, so this is all shadow right here. I'm gonna exaggerate a bit. This, uh, this photograph looks a little washed out, so I'm gonna exaggerate my shadow. He's got a nice shadow just under this ear here. See how it's all wet? Now I'm gonna add my white, and it should make it nice and creamy. I want it creamy and not white yet. I wanna hold off on it being white. Okay. Seems a little bizarre to paint your white first, because it looks dark. It's darker than the darker areas. See that? Okay, but now we're gonna go for the brown. So in this case, I'm mixing yellow and, and purple together. So when you wanna make browns, it's just a, it's one um, primary color and then the opposite primary, uh, the opposite secondary color. So the opposite to yellow is purple, the opposite to red is green, and the opposite to blue is orange. You mix any of those colors together and you get these different kinds of browns. And then you can change your browns, make them like really, cold or really warm. In this case, I want it to be really warm. I want it to be almost yellow because this dog looks, looks like a, a yellow dog. Let's just fill in everything here. With this kind of brown color. It's a very cold brown. Okay, which is good because I'm gonna lighten it. Okay, so what I like is he's got this little peak here, this little shape, this little, you know, it goes around his eyes, and then it's, and he's got a big patch right here, a big leather patch or whatever, like a, like a Jersey cow. Okay, so I'm gonna go with some yellow and white now. I'm just gonna put that up there. All right, and we're just gonna do this plane, you know, the, the plane once again, you know, the the plane on the dog's forehead, and then he's got a little bit on his ears, but the ears are pretty well flat. So just a little bit there. And um, there we go, we want it looking a little gooey. It's, it's nice and wet right now, so. so you don't wanna, you don't wanna scrub your paint too much. 
I'm going to just apply it and let it kind of just dry there a little bit. There, I like that. See, I like the way this is looking right now. Once I put the eyes in there, it'll just seal them up. It'll just, it'll, it'll sell it as a dog. You'll know exactly what it is. Right now, I'm just trying to get the shape, the bone structure, whatever. So I'm just, sometimes you gotta just play around. For you that are just learning how to paint, which is most of us, like I always feel like I'm learning how to paint. The best thing to do is just keep playing, playing with your paint. And if you make a mistake, you can always paint over it, right? Give yourself that kind of rule. Like, I'm just going to play around and then I'll, I'll work on another painting and that'll, that'll be the painting that counts. But this is my screw around painting right now. Okay, so he's pretty light now. Now I'm going to add a little bit of red to my brown. So I want it to look orange. Okay, and I'm going to just add this orangey color right there, right underneath the eye here. It's got these little eyebrows. Let's just kind of exaggerate them a bit. Okay, now let's put in the nose and the eyes. So the nose, once again, he's got this nice little nose right here. And his little lip. And then his eyes, so I got his eyebrows in, and that could be his. It's like they're, it's like, it's like these dogs. If you look at their eyes really close up, if you have a beagle, it's like they got eyeliner on, like all around their eyes, this nice black kind of skin. almost human. His eyes look almost human here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some of this black and while this is all wet, I'm just going to I'm just going to hit some of the shadowy areas, the dark areas. You know, just look at your reference. Now, I always use this word like look with your eyes, right? Cuz I think we do two things. I think we look with our mind and we look with our eyes. So your mind tells you that a hand has has five fingers, right? Your mind knows that. But sometimes when you turn it sideways, it's one finger. And then if you move your thumb in, it looks like two fingers. So your mind's telling you you gotta draw five fingers, but your eyes are seeing basically one finger. You know, and as you move your fingers, they, you know, it, it, there's illusions and stuff. And, and so, you know, look with your eyes, and if you see like a little dark pot, spot there, just put it in, right? Just a little bit under his chin, not much. This little jowl comes down, there's just a little bit there. All right, so and then I'm going to make his collar, I'm going to make it kind of dark first. I, I want it to be a big red color. But for now, I'm going to just, there's a little tuft of hair here. I'm going to exaggerate it a bit, and then I'm going to, you know, there it is. And I'm going to paint this dark. I mean, not dark, but red. Okay, our beagle's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry a bit and I'm gonna paint the background color So I'm gonna to try to go with a totally different color than what I have with my Westy Go more green and I'm not sure if this green looks good at all But let's just kind of put it in More of a bluish green Okay, I don't know, I think it kind of works. What I should do is, the opposite of green is, um, is yellow. So, going with, um, they call it complementary colors. So, it's kind of a teal color. And I'm going to just add black while it's all wet like that, just to kind of, I notice in this here, this black just really brings out. Do that. 
Kind of more of a tough of fur right there. Okay. okay, top of his head looks more flat, so we'll do that. And uh, let's just put like, a nice black shape right there. I'm gonna splatter some black, buddy. Got it on the dog. Anyways, sometimes it makes a cool effect. I'll fix that up later. Okay. All right. Okay, moving to a smaller brush to work on some details now. We are going back to this guy. So, you guys with fluffy, furry dogs, we are now going to add, because he's dried up a little bit, I'm not going to add all the little details. So I'm going to make kind of a nice, kind of cool, well, no, actually I want to add yellow. So it's going to be a warm gray. So if you can imagine taking brown, adding yellow to that, and just a little bit of purple. Okay, so let's just add some, add some of this. Let me squint my eyes and look at it. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's the color I should be doing. Now, take our nap again. This paint here is going to get in the way. So I'm going to smudge it off so we can actually paint this corner a bit. Yeah. Looks like a little light shining in. Okay, so paint this. Okay, let's just keep adding this color over top of our cool color. So the two kind of work together in creating the, the warmth and the blue. Like blue is a cold color. So you want them looking kind of like on the, like, like white tends to reflect more blue colors of the spectrum than any other color when you got white. So we'll just add this to it on top of it. So you got a little bit of both. You got some cool color, feeling like he's in the shade, and you got a little warmth because there are little highlights coming through. Okay, what's going on with this mustache? I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, I see, I see. So I'm gonna do this. A little bit of warmth coming in on the top here. soften the color a little bit the lines okay so just keep building more color on top of it Ooh, the red's still wet if you get if you see you're pulling a little bit of color from the color next to it just quickly clean your brush off don't sit there and try to fix it depends on how big of a mess it, it, it is Okay, I think my Westie's looking pretty good. Okay, so this little mustache here is gonna be a little feature. It's gonna hopefully. Okay, I'm just gonna bring out this. He's got this kind of, I don't know, cool hairdo that kind of flops over like this. Okay, so just keep adding. See, adding highlights on top of dark, just, I don't know, there's some, just something about it. Just, it makes it fun to look at paintings that have been, the white's been added. Okay, so now, I'm gonna just put in some hairs on the dark like this. Bring this down, that's wet, so it's gonna pull over. Do it again. Hmm. Okay, let's see the other side. This side's got this weird transparent look. Okay, just a few little lines there. 
and it kind of pulls up like this. You got this upward draft and this downward pull. Talking about dogs, but really talking about weather. How's the weather? How's the weather with your dog? Okay. All right, I love dogs. They're just, um, they're not gonna judge you when you do your painting. But, you know, if you're looking for a compliment, they're not gonna give you a compliment either, so. Okay, so let's just lighten this. This is gonna be really light right in here. And I'm gonna go with pure white on top of this. This is like the lightest area of the painting right in there. So I'm just gonna, I almost wanna use a palette knife. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna make a couple of little holes in his, in the hair here, like just like that. So it looks like you're looking through. And that's, that's it for that side. Now I'm gonna do the same on this side because there's like, like this backlit glow around him. Let's try to put pure paint in there. So it feels like it's like the sun shining behind him and it's glowing. And the hair's just kind of picking it up. And he's got some on top. So he's got these little little highlights on top okay I'm, we're almost done the hair I think this is pretty good it's got to look like a painting uh, his leg looks a little where's that wet red paint let's do this there. there mm. speaking of the dog Okay, so now comes the fun part of all the detail of the black. So his little nose here, let's put a little bit here, make it like this, his little mouth is right there. I think by not putting a lot of detail in it, like putting all the little bumps that's on his nose and all the, like the nostrils and stuff, I think by not doing that, you, um, it's gonna look cuter. It's gonna look more like a little button. Okay, now his eyeball goes right here. When I even look at the photo, his eye doesn't have a lot of, um, like it's just like a black, a little black dot. There we go. Okay, and when you look at, at, at anybody's eye, like if you look at my eyes here, you see that little glint right there? That is the brightest spot in the room reflecting off a marble. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to put that glint in. That's gonna make your dog look kind of like, like a little sparkle a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little glint there, just on his nose, and a little bit on his lip there. Okay, and then his eyeball's got one right here. Boop. And then over here he's got one. Okay, I think we're almost done our Westie. I'm just gonna have to clean up some of this hair right in here. Okay, so let's do that. Put one little hair running right across in front of his eye. And now to do the same on this side, put a few hairs in front of his eyes. I got not too many. This is where you get to edit and give them a haircut if you want. Unless you really want to show a dog's eyes all covered up with his hair. I think if you could see his eyes, it looks better. Okay. All right, done. Now I'm going to finish off this part here. I'm going to go with pure red. Nice bright red right there. Okay, I'm gonna go with some pink. A little bit of white in there, that makes it look pink. Just kind of 
Once again, this is the top plane of something. And then there's a there's kind of a bulge in a cushion. So I'm gonna put that right here. What I'm gonna do is blend this into it being darker. So let's darken this bottom part. Blend. There we go. Now, just to add a little bit of uh, that lip, just put a little bit there and there. And you got your kind of your lip of your. There we go. I think my Westie's done. All right. Let's go back to my. Let's go back to this guy. We're going to finish him off. We're going to brighten him up a bit. So he's had some time to dry up a little bit so we can add some color on top of it. So I'm going to make more of an orangey color. Orangey brown. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna fill this in a bit. You can see too much underpaint on him. Look at that little spray that came in. So let's try to cover that up a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna just try to put in some strong highlights. So, I don't wanna go with pure white, and I don't wanna go with pure yellow. So I'm gonna go with more of a, I don't know, kind of a, let's see if that looks like, yeah, it looks pretty close to the way the dog actually looks. So now his ear just kind of blends into that part of the head. I think that works. I think that works with the green that's behind there. Let's go there. Okay. It's got these little eyebrows. Make his head look a little bit more bonier. Kind of like that. Put a little light up there because it's really the lightest part of the dog's fur. It's the top. So just putting it on there, blobbing it on, like that. It's kind of, there's a bit of an outline. Clean my brush off, because you see how I pull, pulled some of that color there? Just clean your brush off real quick and then do it again. Okay, I think that works. Now, oops, looks a little too green. Let's add some more red to that yellow. Take, turn it more into of a brown. Now I'm just gonna go with yellow and white. Clear this highlight right there. Clean off my brush because I want to blend it into the ear, not just let it sit there. Okay. There we go. His ears are chamois. Chamois. Shamwow. Let's put a little bit of this here. All right. And I think just outline this little patch there. Now I'm going to go with a darker color. I'm just going to bring that darker color down into this part here. Let's move this over here. Okay, moving to a smaller brush. That was kind of a medium brush I was using, so I'm going to go, go with the smaller brush now. And I'm going to just build in some more highlights around his head. Some nice little highlight right here. It's one right underneath his eye. And uh, like that. And let's see, we go like this, like that. Um, put some right there. Um, gonna out basically take white and try to outline his eyebrow a bit, like that. I want that little, that little eyebrow area to stick up a little bit. There we go. Okay, I like that. I don't want to. I don't want to blend my colors too much. I like this marbly, this painted feeling. I don't like this, this smudge there, so I'm just gonna smudge on top of it. There, that I like. This part of the ear though, because it's against the, I'm just gonna make it a little darker. Okay. All right. I think we're almost there. We just gotta paint um, some white. 
over the white parts. So this part here should all be nice and white. And then this whole edge of his snout is kind of white. And same with this side, boom, like that, just enough. And then just to kind of bring out this lip a little bit, and I'm gonna blend it with my finger. And I'm going to add some to that tougher fur there. I don't want to do too much because I'm really liking this painting. It looks looks like a painting. Um, just a little bit of a highlight right here. It's just interesting how this dog's actually a lot lighter than what I've painted him. So let's just add some more lighter colors right there. Yeah. He's an older beagle. He's not like a puppy. He's like he's seen years. He's seen some years of. It's a wise old dog. Okay, so let's finish him up by. Um, their eyes are nice. He's got a nice brown eyes. So. Because I got lots of brown in there, I'm just gonna make his eyes look orange. Like oranger. Like, I'm not gonna go with orange orange. It's gonna be oranger eyes. I'm just gonna add some orange right underneath there, like, like that. Looks quite brown, actually. But on my palette, it looks quite orange. So, so it's good. You want him to have brown eyes. Okay, so remember they got that little black. I'm just going to indicate it. I'm going with pure black now. Pull this down like that. And uh, just a little bit underneath that. Not much. Just want to. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay, now comes the where you put the pupil in. So pull the pupil right into that orange or the brown or whatever you want to call it. Just pull it right down into it. Same with this here. Okay, then his nose. I'm actually, I'm actually just add a little bit of a kind of a bluey color on top. Like this. white into it I'm just kind of there we go now I'm going to add black and just really make out the shape of his nose and he's got kind of a smudged it's not black but if you yeah, like that and then put a few dots in there what the heck yeah, I don't want to do too much because I actually like that Okay, and then we're gonna add that little glint, that little highlight glint, okay? So just grab pure white. You can use the back of your brush, but if you look here, you can see I got just pure white, and I'm gonna just set it on there. I'm not gonna paint it on there, I'm just gonna, so it just looks. I'm gonna put a little bit on his nose right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little glint right there, so this feels like, like a, um, a metal loop. I'm gonna paint red just directly on top there. I'm gonna put it on really thick. This will make it feel like a painting. And we're almost done. That was it. That was all I was gonna put. Okay, maybe a little tag, I guess. I don't want it to, I don't want it to be like center of attention. Go around it a little bit so it feels like it's a... Okay. There you go. There's my Westie and my Beagle. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this painting.
with Lewis and we're painting pets and this is a portrait of your dog and I want to see what you painted so please please post it on on uh, on you know down below and we can all share in this and if you have any questions please ask me a question I'll answer it and I'm, it was so much fun doing this project okay thanks again